Yep. We got some Force of Will. Um, I actually had a problem finding more of this particular set. But uh, apparently somebody had some stashed away. And not only did I have one box, I got two boxes. Now, we're going to open the first one here, and then uh, we're going to open the second one later on. But we're going to open them both. I know there's not a lot of fans out there for Force of Will, but I think the cards look cool. Uh, they don't sell very well, unfortunately, but <laughs> I still like them. Uh, in this particular set, there aren't uh, really any super expensive cards in this set, except for the Uber Rare, which is like a $60 card. Um, thankfully, I did not pay very much for this box. And I will, again, say this, these older uh, Force of Will booster boxes, they are nice. They're like little boxes. They're really, really nice. You can actually reuse these. So, put you under here like this. Yeah, and you can really put these things on display. This is how awesome they are. Look at that. If we had an actual physical store, that would look so good, but we don't. So, we're going to set this over here. We're going to flip all of our booster packs out, and hopefully not spill any. I believe this is, what, 36 booster packs? Yeah, should be 36 this over here and yeah I do actually hold onto these boxes again because they're 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 hard boxes they're not like those little crappy ones that you get with like Yu-Gi-Oh boxes and stuff like that so these are actually pretty nice packs look good the Alice Cluster fourth set booster pack in English these are in English so yeah um, sit back relax even if you don't enjoy force of will we're uh, we're gonna do a bit of an opening, so there we go. All right, the only thing we're really looking for is just uh, kind of just to add to the collection of what I already have. Um, like I said, four little cards that I do have, and I don't have a ton. Um, they don't sell all that often, but when they do, they do sell in pretty good little bunches there. So let me see if I can move this over a little bit more. Zoom in a bit here. There we go. All right, so of course we've got our common, 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 common. So we got what, five commons. Uh, then we have uh, uncommons. That is such an awesome artwork. I've always loved that artwork. It looks really good. And that's our uncommon. We got another uncommon. I mean, that is our rare, our true successor of Serto Volga. And then we've got our stone which uh, the stones actually sell really well, so that's awesome. And then we've got our foil, and we got a foil rare. Pretty nice. Uh, Boar's Returned Adventurer. So we'll put you right over here. Actually, let's put our stones here. Put our regular rares and, and stuff there, and then we'll put our foils over here. So yeah, um, like I said, not a ton of value in this set. Um, like I said, the, the biggest hit is going to be the Uber Rare, which is actually, those are actually really hard to get. So, <laughs> not not planning on getting one of those. And these little Force of Will, Will Point cards, unfortunately, they don't do anything anymore. Yeah. <sighs> That's how old this set is. Uh, we got some more commons. We'll, we'll look through the commons a little bit. If you're not familiar with the game, you'll see that the uh, art style is a bit kind of anime. Uh, also, a little strange, like that. Like, this looks anime style. This looks weird. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, Catherine of the Fairies Commons, Commons. Uh, oh, Croco Shark Crossing. <laughs> I remember that card. Um, Collapsing World. Sympathizer is our rare. We got ourselves a uh, little stone there. And we've got, uh, wow, look at that. Rare foil. Nice. It's a little bit of a miscut, huh? Looks like it. All right. Let's start moving a little bit faster as we get through this. For those of you who do enjoy, enjoy Force of Will, especially some of the older sets, then uh, you're going to enjoy this. If uh, you're not a big fan of Force of Will, well, uh, you should be. <laughs> okay, oh, we got something fancy in the back here. Already seeing it. Last drop, Control Beast, Knight, uh, Arena. Ooh, Artificial Moon. I don't remember this card. Uh, Return Adventurer. Fire Magic Stone. Oops, that's a rare. I'm gonna put you over there. And hey, oh wow, look at that. Professor Princess of Love Valentina. That's a textured. Very nice. I don't know if you all can tell. But the 
Yeah, that's got a little uh, little bit of a texture on it. That is such a cool looking car. Oh, and it's flipped too. Slayer of the Overlord Prisia. So very, very nice. That's a super rare. I'll put you right over there. Nice little hit. And again, that's uh, that's actually one of the hits of the, of the set. I think that's uh, probably a uh, like a three or four dollar card, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, they're, they're, the stuff in this set is just not expensive. It is very, very affordable, especially if you just want to get into the game. Uh, we'll start zooming through these a little more. Common, common. Fairy Shadow. Trust. Uh, Mulder thingy thing. And, oh, okay, that's rare. That's rare. I always keep forgetting that's a rare there. Okay. Light Magic Stone. And, wow, another textured. Okay. Alice of Shadow. Wow. Uh, yeah, two textures in a row. Yeah, it's got a little, uh, at least it feels textured. It's a little bit different. Oh, that just looks nice. That is such a nice looking card. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, again, if you just collect the cards just to collect them, I can see why some of these cards are appealing. They're just really, really nice. These are uh, about the size of the magic cards. The artwork is... I don't know. I, it's, I'm kind of on the fence about the artwork. It looks kind of nice at times, and then other times it just looks weird. Like, this art, I think, looks pretty cool. So does that one. See, like, some of these, you'll, you'll find some really, really great art, and then, of course, you've got breasts. Everybody loves those. <laughs> yes, she's got, uh, she's very gifted. And then there's our rare. we got another stone. And we've got a uh, uncommon moon breeze rabbit. Yeah, I think for the most part, the art's pretty nice. Every now and then, I'll run across one particular piece of art on a card that just, I don't know, it just doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't do it for me as far as like an artistic sense. It just looks weird. I don't know. I guess that's just, uh, you know, <laughs> some people like certain art. Other people are like, eh, not my thing. Now I kind of have to go and look for one of those pieces of art that I'm just like, yeah, I don't really like this one. <laughs> oh, that wolf looks awesome. Yugdor, Beast of the World. Very nice. Oh, look at that. A super rare. Glory and Princess of the Water. Very, very nice. It's a flip card. There's the other side. So we've got a super rare. And then for uh, an uncommon foil, a Napping Lion. So, yeah. And again, thankfully, if, if you happen to find more of these boxes, uh, I will say, um, even though I do sell quite a bit on TCG Player, those of you who have been watching my videos for the years know that I sell a lot on TCG Player. Like 99% of my sales come on TCG Player. You all know that I've been selling there for a while, but I did not get these boxes from anybody that I know via TCG Player. I actually got them from a different source, which I will not name. <laughs> Dummy Doll, uh, Avalon. Uh, got ourselves a Black Moonbeam for a rare. Wow, another super rare. Look at that. Space-time Pursuer? Yeah. Gil Lapis. Very nice. And then we've got a common foil queen's envoy. So doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, we've, hit, we've hit some super rares. If we end up getting the uber rare out of either of these boxes, like, like I said, we're only doing one box right now. Then we're going to do another box later. But uh, if I end up getting the uber rare, that's awesome. Because the uber rare would basically pay for both of the boxes. If I can sell it. That's another thing about some of these cards is that this is a very It's kind of a niche product um, Like the people that like it really like it, but there aren't really that many of them set free for our rare and Wow another super rare. Okay, professor princess La Valentina. Okay. This is the non textured non foil version Get ourselves a, a common uh, wingman Wow, okay. It, the box feels good. It feels like we're doing well. I have no idea if we are. I mean, I guess we are. If we're just basing it on how many super rares. We've already gotten, what, like five super rares? That's a lot of super rares, man. Wow. Let's see if I can speed things up a little bit. I know I'm being a little long here. Uh, shark. Uh, oh, wow. Guardian Angel Raphael for the... This is one of those pieces of art which I'm not really sure about. Like, the face and everything looks fine. But her body just, it, it just looks a little weird to me. Like, it looks a little longer than it should be. I mean, I know it's fantasy art, so you can kind of just do whatever you want, but it just, I don't know. This feels a little long to me. Wow, another super rare. Refrain, the end of ages. Oh my goodness. 
Then we got Gathering of Fairies Common Foil. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. If, if we're judging this just based on the super rares, wow, we're not even a third through the box yet. And it's just, it's incredible. I mean, <laughs> it's, we're just doing really, really well, it feels like. Uh, Death Trap, to Common. Oh, wow, yeah. Fairy of Sacred Vision, that card sells really well. I'll give you one guess why. And then the bunny. Got ourselves a rare Midsummer Night's King. Oh, Midsummer's Night King, Oberon. Okay. And another super rare. Holy crap. Alice of Shadow. That looks really neat. Okay. And then what do we got here? We got a, a, oh, wow. A rare textured. Wow, yeah, that's textured. Yeah, look at that. You can kind of see it there. Wow, this is, uh, again, this, this box feels really, really good. And again, we're still not even a third through the box. This is, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I would say if you're a collector of these cards uh, and you've never opened one of these boxes, I guess this is good. I don't know if it really is or not. Uh, rabbit Trap, uh, Croco Shark, World, got uh, Titania for our rare. And, oh wow, look at that. Got ourselves a rare stony thing? I don't know. What is, oh wow, okay, are these cards stuck? Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, look at this, okay. So we got a rare something, I don't really know what this is. This is usually where the stone is, <laughs> so I'll put you over there. And then we got ourselves another textured card. Very nice. Look at that, oh, that looks beautiful. Look at how it just kind of, the rainbow colors, wow. Yeah, and this is gonna be a long video, guys. <laughs> so just settle down and just get a drink. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, again, the value apparently is pretty low in this box, but the cards look awesome. They just they just look so good. Uh, Arena, uh, got the Crazy Moon again. Uh, got the Knight of Lions. And wow, another super rare. Wow, small assistance. And another textured card. Beautiful. Look at that. It's just a rare. Machine Sympathizer, looking awesome. Love the foiling on that. All right, we're officially one third <laughs> through the box here. So, wow, excellent, excellent. And again, I'm just glad I didn't pay, I didn't pay a ton, like I said, I didn't pay a ton of money for these boxes. They tend to be pretty cheap when I can find them from a particular seller that I usually buy these from. So when he had more, I was like, I'll take them. I was like, all right, send them out. Uh, already had Oberon. We got ourselves another Magic Stone and a Common Foil. Wow, that was like the most normal pack we've had so far. Ah, come here, open. Wow, this one does not want to open. There we go. Yeah, that was probably the most average pack so far. Kind of amazing. Oh, we got something fancy in the back. Oh my goodness, is that the Uber Rare? Could it be? Okay, let's. Oh my god, I think it is. Okay, common, uncommon, <laughs> Titania, Prideful Queen, Stone, and oh, it's the Uber Rare! Oh, look at that beautiful thing. Wow, that is an awesome card. That's a J Ruler, Arla Guardian of the Skies. Wow, that is one awesome looking card. That is so cool. Oops, <laughs> a lightly plagued now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not. Wow, that looks amazing. It feels like it should be metal. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna put you right, uh, let's put you over here for now. Wow, okay, so um, this box uh, is officially amazing now. <laughs> yeah, we got the we got the Uber Rare. <laughs> we're good. And it kind of makes up for the fact that my last few Yu-Gi-Oh openings have been absolutely awful. One of them, in fact, I think one or two of them were so bad, I didn't even bother posting the videos. Uh, Night Alliance, uh, we get ourselves another stone, and we get ourselves an uncommon circle of trust foil. But yeah, I bought, uh, what was it, like uh, three boxes of Duel from the Depths, or Duels from the Deep, I forget exactly what it's called. Uh, one of the newer Yu-Gi-Oh sets, and uh, all I wanted was the Darn Forbidden Droplet. Three boxes! Not a single droplet. But some of the uh, other crappy, legions, some of the other crappy uh, cards that I just obviously didn't want, I uh, got plenty of those. <laughs> plenty of those. 
<sighs> so they're just like, well, here, we'll give you some good stuff out of Force of Will. Oh, okay, you know, the, the, the one product that I actually do enjoy, I do enjoy opening these packs, but like I said, as far as uh, from a business standpoint, uh, they don't tend to sell very well. Oh, cool. <laughs> High Speed Dash. That's, that's a funky looking card. <laughs> uh, Water Magic Stone. And an Uncommon Technician. Uh, yeah, because you got to figure, I mean, in that set that I was talking about, the Yu-Gi-Oh set, the Droplet was an ultra rare. It wasn't even a secret rare or anything, just an ultra. And so you figure in, in three boxes, you should get maybe at least one, right? Nope. None for me. Legions. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. So we got a super rare Hades Lord of the Dead. And then we've got a rare textured card. Man, these cards are so attractive. Roof target card and of the game. Wow. That is such a neat looking card. Gotta hand it to him, man. I know Force of Will's been going through some changes uh, lately. They're kind of trying to revamp the game a little bit. Um, I don't know if I would have done that. I mean, at least just based on this th this box, this set, and how good these cards look, at least they look good to me. Uh, Risa, First of the Dead. Uh, Hair of Inaba. Wow. Okay. That is some amazing artwork for obvious reasons. And she's a super rare. Wow, and then a rare foil, uh, Beast of the World. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't understand why you would need to revamp this. Maybe they were just struggling with, you know, power creep or something? I don't know. I'll be honest. I'm not, you know, I don't. I actually don't even play Force of Will. I have no idea how to play it. I have I know very few people that actually move my stacks over here. I know very few people that actually play the game. Most of them collect it just for the art and the cards, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. High speed dash, and another super rare. Elisaris, wow, that's cool looking. And then a rare foil. Battle for uh, a Tauresia. Art or River? I keep wanting to say a a Aortica, but it's not that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, that's not it at all. All right, we'll just keep going. We're almost, almost two thirds of the way through the box. Uh, let's see, commons, commons, uncommon. Wow, another battle for something. Um, that's a non-foil. We got a magic stone. Wow, textured, super rare, hair of a Naba. Oh my god, look at this thing. Come on, focus camera. Oh, isn't it? That, that card is just so attractive. The art, the way the foiling works, the texture. I don't understand why you would want to revamp this. It just looks so good. Again, maybe that's just because I, you know, grew up with like Magic the Gathering and when the first, you know, the first several years that Magic was around, none of the cards were really super fancy. They were just kind of there. <laughs> you know, they didn't have foils or anything. Escape. Stone and wow, super rare foil. Oh my gosh, dude. These packs are so loaded. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, uh, Magic the Gathering sets were very plain Jane. They had some great cards, but nothing was fancy. Um, you know, they were all just regular paper, no foils, no extended arts or any of that stuff. And you get a product like this, where you've got some interesting artwork that we got here. Remote, Control, Goliath, or Goleth, or Golem, Darkness Stone, and a super rare foil. Okay, uh, Glorian Princess of Water, Charlotte. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This box feels amazing. All the, all the Force of Will players are out there, these cards suck, man. Why are you even opening it? Because I like it. Because I, I really enjoy opening this product. I just like it. Get over it. <laughs> Another battle. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. We got a foil stone and a foil super rare Hades Lord of the Dead. Amazing. Down to the last portion of the box here. This has been an incredible opening. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I can't help it. It just it just feels so much better than the Yu-Gi-Oh openings I've been doing. Uh, enraged Knight, she looks angry. Fairy, mm, more rabbits. Wow, the fairy and the rabbit come out all the time right next to each other. Uh, escape. Uh, wow, Brutal Conquers Memoria. That's awesome looking. 
Okay, and then we got ourselves a common foil card. Yeah, it is a shame that these little willpower points don't do anything anymore. Because, if, like, I, I mentioned in another video that I did for Force of Will that I know that Force of Will started out a while back and that apparently the company was sold and the new buyer just decided not to keep doing that, uh, that whole point thing, Memoria, Foil Common. And so, yeah, the points, unfortunately, in some of these older products, they're, they're basically just worthless. I don't even know what they used to do. Because even now it says, you know, download from the App Store, but... Yeah, doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. Uh, two, three, four, five. Oops, you stay there. Don't fall over. Common, I'm common. Get ourselves the dog. Uh, first flight's memoria. And a common. Okay, now it's starting to slow down a little bit. <laughs> Those, that's well, wait, We had like three packs in a row where it was kind of boring there. Still liking this opening. Still feels nice. Uh, five. Fairy Shadow. Black Moonbeam, uh, Sorrow for Necromancer's Memoria, and wow, another foil common. Yeah, we've really slowed down now. <laughs> I guess they can't all be winners, huh? In a box this good, where we've already gotten the Uber Rare, we're definitely not getting another Uber Rare. <laughs> I just don't think that's how these, these boxes work, probably with the track printing. Uh, set free, okay. And call to Actions Memoria, pretty nice. And we got a foil uh, machine sympathizer rare. All right, oops, you go over there. So we don't need you. Common, common. Wow, okay. Fairy's flower extract. Have I not noticed this one before, or am I just not getting any of these? That actually looks really cool. Some of the wingmen. Uh, Guardian Angel Raphael again. Wow, another super rare hair of Inaba. I think we've gotten two of those, and then we got the textured one. And then we've got ourselves an Enraged Knight common. I'm going to go through at the end of this video, and I'm going to count up all the various super rares and stuff that we got, and just, just have a look and see. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Got some more rabbit. Technician. Uh, rare Midsummer Knight. Oh wow, that looks cool. Rare Remoria foil. And then, oh wow, look at that. That's the one I was just looking at. Fairy Flower Extract Foil. Just a common. Looks nice though. How many more packs have we got left? Okay, we got five packs to go. Everybody's like, oh my god, it's such a long video. Told ya. Should have got a drink, man. Common. Fairy King. Blood Dragon. Tatiana Prideful Queen. Uh, wow, another JR. Okay. <laughs> wow. We usually only get like one of these uh, box, right? Isn't that how that works? Okay. And then we get a foil common. That doesn't matter. But yeah, look at this other JR. Malgus Conqueror of Flame. I don't think he's worth that much, but it's cool to see another one. All right. Yeah, because I think from the other boxes of this that I've opened, I've only gotten one J, uh, JR. In, in the entire box. Could be wrong. It's been a little while. Come in. Rabbit. And a uh, Volga. Fire Magic Stone Foil. And an Uncommon uh, Dummy Doll. All this will be going up on my store. So if you see anything you want, if you're one of the eight Force of Will players left in the world, <laughs> you're more than welcome to check out my stock. Uh, I have actually been doing some price adjustments because I know that it is a very niche kind of game. So I've been slowly adjusting prices just to kind of match what's out there. There's not a huge demand, but there's also not a huge stock. So, yeah, kind of have to keep an eye on these prices. Sympathizer, Light Magic Stone, and a uh, rare First of the Dead. So, yeah, see anything you like. And I will be putting the Uber Rare up on there too. Um, I'll probably mark mine down to like $55, $56, cause like I said, I think the least expensive one is like 60 right now. So if you actually do want that uber rare, we'll be putting it up there. Boars, Return to Adventure, Water Magic Stone Foil, and a rare remote control column. Last pack. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for sticking with me through the video, I know it's a long one, but like I said, I love doing these box openings, They're just they just always seem to be fun. 
All right. Oh my gosh, we got something else in the back there too now. What is this? Okay, common, uncommon, uncommon. Uh, last, oops, spell my cards. Last of the Dead. Uh, let's see, Wild Magic Stone, and hey, look at that, Regalia Foil. Nice, okay. Dimension of the Seven Kings, and Illusionary Demonic Globe, a Tor, a, a Tor Ractia, a Tor, a Tor Ractia, okay, okay. I, I just can't say that word, can I? You all have to tell me how to say that, because I don't know how. Apparently, I'm terrible at saying that particular name. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go through here. Man, this you get so many rares. And these are, again, these are just rares. That's not counting the foil rares. Let me pull out the supers and the textures here. Okay, let's see. Rare, rare, common, J. Common, common, common. Super rare, rare, common, common, common. Super rare. Oh, there's another rare that I accidentally put up here. Okay, super rare, super rare. Textured super rare. Oh, that's another rare I should put over here. Rare, super rare, rare. Wow, we really did get three rabbits, huh? Or three hair of a uh, Naba. Kind of crazy. That's a textured. Yeah, I guess we'll count the textured. We'll leave you there. Uh, that's super rare. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Common, super rare. That's another textured butch here. That's a rare textured, super rare, common, super common. It's a super common. Super rare. Let's see, another super rare. Wow, that texture just looks amazing. Both of those textured cards look absolutely incredible. Okay, so let's have a look here. See, that's our J. Is this a J? No, this is just a regular rare, right? It is a foil, though. So I guess we'll put you over there. So for our textures, let's see. Did I pull any other textures? We've got five textures there. I don't think we have any more. Oh, that one's textured. Okay, so we got six texture ones, including the hair. Amazing. Again, these cards just look so good. Just love the way they look. I love this artwork. And then is the regular super rares. One, two, three, four. Oh, what's this? What is what is going on here? Oh, this is probably from. Oh no! I see what this is. Apparently the. Oh, that sucks. On this particular one, it looks like one of these little things got stuck to it over time, and now it just doesn't want to come off. Oh no! Dang, gonna have to sell that as damaged. Oh well. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. Let's see, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen super rares. That's not including the foils and stuff that we got from the stone slot. Let's see, what was that? Oh yeah. And then of course we've got the big prize of them all, the Uber Rare. Amazing opening. I, I'm very, very happy with this box. Thanks for watching, guys. I know it's a long video. <sighs> we'll see you next time for the uh, next box.